Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fifth webpack tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at CSS loaders. Alright, so we can use CSS loaders to load in only the styles we need at any particular point into different parts of our application. For example, if we're working with some kind of JavaScript framework which dynamically injects content into our website, then typically we'd split that JavaScript up into different components, if you like, and each component can load in only the CSS that it needs for that component. Pretty cool, right? So this way, CSS becomes much more modular and easier to manage. So there's two loaders we're actually going to use in this video. The first one is the CSS loader and the second one is the style loader. So we need to install both of those via the NPM. Once we've installed them, the CSS loader is going to load in the CSS into our JavaScript file, but that's not enough. What we then need to do is use the style loader to add that CSS into the DOM or the document object model. So we need to use the two in tandem together for this to work. So the first thing I want to do is head over to my index.html file and I want to pop some content in here that we're going to style and it's going to be something dead, dead simple. So let's come under here and create a new div and I'm going to give this a class of intro components and maybe if you're using some kind of framework like React, this would be dynamically injected by a JavaScript component. I'm not going to go into all that. I'm just going to create this in the HTML file. So Let's do a little h1 here as well and say CSS loaders are awesome because they are. Okay, cool. So now we've got that and we can style this up using some CSS. So let's create some CSS. Let's go into our source folder and create a new folder called CSS. And then within that, let's create a new file and we'll call this intro components.css. Okay, I'm going to style up this dude right here. So how are we going to do that? Just a simple selector. We'll say intro component, which is that HTML selector I added on right here. So we're targeting that. And we'll say padding is going to be 20 pixels. Um, background is going to be maroon. The color is going to be white, which is FFF. And then finally, we'll say font family is Arial. Okay, cool. So currently, nothing is linking to this CSS. It's not being linked to in this file, so nothing's actually going to work here. It just displays the default browser styles. So now what we're going to do is use those CSS and style loaders to inject this where we need it, these styles. So let's go ahead and install them. So to do that, just type in right down here, npm install, and then we're going to need the style hyphen loader and also the CSS hyphen loader, both of those. And then we're going to save them both to our dev dependencies. So hit enter and let those dudes install. Okay, sweet. So when that's installed, let's just double check in our package.json file to make sure. Yep, there they are, CSS loader and style loader. So what's the next thing we need to do? We need to configure our webpack.config right here to say we want to use those CSS and style loaders. Now I said in the last tutorial that this loaders property right here is an array. And this array contains different object and each object refers to a different loader that we're gonna use. So this is the first one right here, which was the Babel loader. Now we're gonna add in another one into this array. So let's do a comma and do another object. And this is gonna be for the style loader and the CSS loader, okay? So first of all, we wanna test for CSS files. So similar to this, we wanna test for anything with a CSS extension. So we'll paste that dude in there and change this to CSS. So it's only going to load um, or perform this loader on CSS files. Okay. So comma. Now the loader we want to use this time is we actually need to use two. We need to use the style loader and the CSS loader. Okay. So we'll say the style loader. And the way we pipe these two together to say we want to use them both at the same time is by using the exclamation mark right there. And then we say CSS loader. Okay, so remember the CSS loader is going to load all the CSS into the JavaScript file. And then the style long, uh, loader, which we're tacking onto it as well, is going to add those styles into the DOM. All right, so that's all we need to do for this. We don't need to say any presets or uh, anything like that because they're just going to do one thing. They're going to put the CSS that we write into the DOM, right? So let's save this now. 
and let us go into our JavaScript file right here. I'm going to get rid of this alert. I don't want to use that anymore. And imagine this JavaScript file is the component which is going to be controlling this component on our homepage, right? So let us quickly say here require, and we're going to require this CSS file right here. So we need to put the path into that. And that path is dot forward slash CSS forward slash intro component dot CSS. Okay, so now we're requiring that for this component right here, for this JavaScript file. So if we now run Webpack, that is going to take those styles and it's going to bundle them out into this bundle.js and add those styles to the DOM. So it's going to style this thing right here, except we've got an error. And if we just take a quick look, we can see that the error is right here. So let's check our styles. Okay, and let's add this semicolon on the end there. Then we can run Webpack once again. Okay, cool, and this time it does run. So let's check it out in a browser. And now we can see those styles are added in right there. So you might think that this is pointless and you'd be fair enough to do so. However, just imagine you have many different JavaScript modules, that, uh, JavaScript components, right? And each JavaScript component is injecting a different element or different component into your index.html file, right? So every time we use one of these different components, we can just require the CSS that we need for that particular component. Instead of loading in all of the CSS to the index.html file, which we might not need. We might only need a third of it or just little sections of it. So this way we're only ever loading in the CSS that we need, which is really cool. And it means that we can modularize our CSS right here into different components for different sections of our application. So there we go, that is how we use CSS loaders. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how we can use SAS loaders to transpire SAS into vanilla CSS.